wait. I know you want to skip. I know you want to leave, but don't. Just, just, just hang on. Just, just watch this quick. Because I have loved this song by Leonard Cohen so much for so many years, I decided to make a choir arrangement and teach it to my own choir, the Charisma Singers, and we produced a beautiful music video of this song. And I've seen your flag on a marble arch, but love is not a victory march. It's a cold and it's a broken hallelujah. I would love it if you would go to my channel, my company's channel, Charisma Performing Arts. Click on the video, watch it, leave a comment, like the video, share it with other people. And please subscribe to the new Charisma Performing Arts channel. Kate Miller Heidke, born 16 November 1981, is an Australian singer and songwriter. Although classically trained, she has generally followed a career in alternative pop music. She signed to Sony Australia, Epic in the US, and RCA in the UK, but since 2014 has been an independent artist. Four of her solo studio albums have peaked in the top 10 of the ARIA albums charts. That is in Australia. Her most popular single, The Last Day on Earth, July 2009 release date, reached number three on the ARIA singles charts after being used in promos for TV soap Neighbours, which was huge in Australia earlier that year. At the ARIA Music Awards, Miller Heidke Key has been nominated 17 times. So born in 1981 in November, so she'll be 43 this year. Um, studied at the University of Queensland, um, I think. Let me check. She has won multiple awards as a classical singer. The Elizabeth Muir Prize 2000, the Donald Penman Prize 2001, Linda Edith Allen Memorial Prize 2002, and the Horace Keats Prize in 2002. Her conservatorium performances were in Orpheus in the Underworld, Venus and Adonis, the Pilgrim's Progress. Um, yeah, so she classically trained and you can hear that in some of her songs. Um, she sings very, very well. But then this alternative pop thing, that's what I was interested in. And that's how I got to know her. So today, I'm going to share my favorite song of hers with you. One of my favorite songs. <laughs> but it is one of my favorite pop songs, actually. And it is called Caught in a Crowd. <laughs> Yes! I love him so much! Cool voice, again connected, but much more breath flowing. Don't want a mic stand just hanging around. I keep me where the light is. Yeah. One of the reasons I love the song is how it is written. It's e major, very easy, very comfortable place, very um, easily accessible place for a listener. Um, even though she's a dramatic soprano and can sing super high and dramatic, that's not what she does in her pop songs, obviously. Um, but also, don't you love how she writes, how she wrote, how she wrote the lyrics? Um, 
very unconventional meter or cadence, like the phrases are not all equal lengths, all eight syllables or 16 syllables, like in most songs. Um, she sings over the phrase. So there's a chord change into a new chord, into a new bar of the music, but the wording, the lyrics keep going on into the next line and phrasing, i.e. breathing in different places. Um, so interesting. It makes you listen. Well, it makes me listen. I'm like, I must pay attention. It's not just so predictable. Da 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 You know, it's all these equal phrases that um can actually help help us tune out sometimes. It makes me lean in, it makes me listen to the story of the song. Um, which is just great. And also, of course, she sings very well. I mean there's nothing spectacular yet. It's just there was a guy in my school, um, in my school when I was in high school. It's quite lowish. Um, morning on our bicycles. Ah, just the way that she enunciates, the way that she energizes all her consonants and vowels are so beautiful. You can hear everything. You can follow the story upon a first hearing. And that is my goal when I sing. When I sing, I, I, I imagine that nobody in the audience has ever heard the song that I'm going to sing. And they might only hear it this one time and they must get it. They must connect with the song. They must hear every word. They must be able to follow the story. And she does that brilliantly. So let's continue. I was young and caught in the crowd. I didn't know then what I know now. I was dumb and I was proud and I'm sorry. I was young and I was proud and I'm sorry. So catchy how that was written. And can you hear the, the backing vocals? Not really backing vocals, it's her singing all the layers of the harmonies. Um, higher, right? Higher harmonies, so beautiful. If I could go back, do it again. I'd be someone you could call friend. Please, please believe that I'm sorry. Mm, yeah. Um, <clears throat> I remember seeing an interview, I think, or I read it, I, I can't remember, where she spoke about this song's origin. Um, it is based on a real life story that happened in her life. This guy in school who was always an outcast and then saw her as a friend and then one day she, well, actually, let me not spoil it, <laughs> but it's based on something that happened in her life. So it paints a beautiful picture of a high school story. And in the first chorus, which I thought came quickly, sometimes there are double verses before the first chorus in many pop songs. It gives you more of the story before you get to the chorus, which is sort of the moral of the story, right? But anyway, the first chorus comes in and she says, if I could go back and do it again, I'd be someone you could call friend. Please, please believe that I'm sorry. I was young and I was dumb, and I'm sorry, you know? Yeah, very beautiful. Next chapter of the song. He was quite a big guy, kind of shy and quiet. When the kids called him weird, he didn't try to deny it. Every lunchtime he'd spend walking by himself around the boundary of the grounds till he heard the bell. Well, one day I found him. Joined him on his walk, we were silent for a while until we started to talk I told him my family were fighting in court He said his stepdad and him always fought We talked about music, he was in a punk He told me all the bands that I liked were junk I said I'd never heard the songs of Sex Pistols sang I laughed back at him and then the bell rang Bell rang, did you hear those harmonies? So cool so cool. Yeah. Um, I wanted to say something else. Oh, yeah. She went in the second half of the second verse or as a third verse. I don't know. She went up a third in the court. Whereas the other verses were there. Just interesting. Just something simple. Same chord structure. Um, etc. But just going up the third in the melody, just again, it draws me in as the listener. I'm like, oh, that's interesting. That's something new, you know? Beautiful. But I love the bow 
rang the harmonies that you put there. Oh my gosh. Chorus two. I was young and caught in the crowd. I didn't know then what I know now. I was dumb and I was proud and I'm sorry. If I could go back, do it again. I'd be someone you could call friend. Please, please believe them so Oh, so good. Double intro instrumental. It was after school in the afternoon. The corridors were crowded as we came out of the rooms. Three guys I knew pushed him into the cement. Threw away his bag and said he had no friends. He yelled that he did and he looked. They pushed him on down That's when he saw me Called out my name And I turned my back And just walked away Yeah, I turned my back And just walked away mm. That's the the more emotive part of the story, right? He yelled that he did, and he looked around, and then he saw me, and he called my name. But I turned my back and just walked away. I think it is a brilliantly written song, honestly, lyrically. I can't believe Kate Miller-Heidke is not way more famous than she is. Her last album was in 2020, according to the source of all truth, Wikipedia. Um, so I don't know... You know, how active she is, what she's currently doing. But I just think a voice like that and songwriting like that should be way more popular than it is. And that's one of the reasons I wanted to share it with you, my audience. Um, because I know many of you are not from Australia, but from other parts of the world. And yeah, um, I just think it's fabulously written. And also, don't you love how the little video was, not a little video, it's quite a big video. Um, how it was made with uh, the sketches and the, the lab, which is like a throwback to high school days and the visual effects and stuff. I think it's beautiful. Mm. And now you will hear that in the last chorus or double chorus, um, there's more vocal layers added. She built the, in the production of the song. So the production of a song is how a song is built, how it's put together. It might start with two or three instruments and then adding instruments, adding vocal layers, whatever. So I love how in the production they built it. Um, it feels organic. It's interesting. Everything that's added just makes, it adds <laughs> to the music. It makes it more beautiful. It's not just there for, hey, here's a chorus. Let's put in, let's put in another guitar just for the sake of, you know, making it louder or bigger. Um, beautiful production. I love it. I was young and caught in the crowd I, I was young I, I was dumb and I was proud And I'm sorry If I could go back, do it again I'd be someone you could call friend Please, please believe them so Love that Believe, 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 believe so cool and also of course the song has a great message and because it's a real story from her life it makes it even more powerful for me the message this awkward guy that everybody called a weirdo and pushed him to the ground and said he had no friends that's such a familiar theme isn't it it's been like that throughout history and the, the funny thing is when i was a kid at one stage, I was like, I remember so well in high school, I was like, oh, can I just get out of school? Can I just get out of this school environment? Can I just get into the adult world where all this rubbish that happens with teenagers and preteens and even little kids, where all of that um, will be gone? And of course, to my surprise, shock and horror, 
The more I matured and the more I had to live in the adult world, the more I realized it happens everywhere. Adults, actually, are bigger bullies than kids are. So, anyway, um, beautiful song, beautifully written, beautifully produced, beautifully sung. Just love her voice. You should go and check out her other stuff. Um, she released a song a few years ago called Gravity, where she really uses her sort of operatic skill and uses her voice in a different way. It is very, very cool. Actually, I'll put a link to that down below this video. I also put a link of this song if you wanted to go and check out the song without my babbling in between. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed getting to know Kate miller Heitke a little bit and this beautiful song, Caught in a Crowd. Uh, I really appreciate you spending the time with me. And until next time, always remember that your voice matters.